So this video is a small follow-up of my review of the Astrohori 25mm lens. You could see this video as part two of that review. We had a little bit of a cliffhanger there because as you might remember, I really love this lens. Excellent image quality, better magnification range than the Lawa 25mm and also very low price, 249 US dollars. I was very impressed with this lens and I would consider it a good purchase even with the very big problem that me and some other reviewers uh, noticed with this lens. And the problem was that when you held the lens at a downward angle like this, it would automatically change the magnification by expanding, which is quite irritating and frustrating. Astrohori quickly responded to all the reviewers that were unhappy with this, that they will fix the problem and that no retail copies of this lens will have that problem. I just got an updated version of this lens, which is supposed to be like the final design. And yeah, it does not have that problem at all. The lens is very steady. Whenever you set the magnification to something, it stays there, definitely. And you can feel like the resistance when changing magnification is a lot bigger. It almost requires some, <laughs> some muscle power. Uh, but I mean, this is a lot better than how it was before. So I'm really happy with this. Also, I would say that the general feeling when changing the magnification is better. It's a lot smoother, at least on this copy that I received. And yeah, it just feels great. And uh, actually, I think that now that I've received this lens, and I think I'm actually going to get to keep it. Thank you, Astrohori. Uh, I think that I will probably sell my Laua 25mm because I see no reason in keeping that lens. This lens is smaller, has similar image quality and has a two to five times magnification range while the Laua has a two and a half to five times magnification range. So I would actually say that this lens is better and this is the one I'm going to keep because I'm not in the need for two of these lenses. And some of you might think that, oh, they just fixed Michael's copy and sent it over to him and then everyone will believe that the lens is fixed now, even though it isn't. But actually I uh, have been in contact with uh, two other people who are not YouTubers or famous in any regard. And they also received copies recently of this lens where the problem was fixed, the problem with the expansion. And also Stuart Wood uh, received a copy that was fixed. So it seems like they really fixed this problem. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you soon again.